Cop Biz. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saksena and you are watching Cop Biz and we are back with another video on the overview of tourism and hospitality industry in India. The Indian tourism and hospitality industry has emerged as a key driver of growth in India's service sector. Given the country's rich cultural and historical heritage, diversity in ecology, terrains and natural beauty, tourism in India has significant potential. Like many other countries, tourism is an important source of foreign exchange for India. Foreign exchange earning increased at a CAGR of 7% from 2016 to 2019, but fell in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, let's talk about the market size of this industry. According to WTTC, India is ranked 10th among 185 countries in terms of travel and tourism total contribution to GDP in 2019. During 2019, contribution of travel and tourism to the GDP was 6.8% of the total economy that is 194.30 billion US dollars. In 2020, the Indian tourism sector accounted for 39 million jobs which was 8% of the total employment in the country. By 2028, Indian tourism and hospitality is expected to earn 50.9 billion US dollar as visitor exports compared with US dollar 28.9 billion in 2018. The Indian travel market is expected to grow to 125 US billion dollars by financial year 27, up from an estimated 75 billion US dollar in financial year 20. The Indian airline travel market is to be estimated to be worth Rs 20 billion US dollars and it is expected to double in size by 27 as airports infrastructure improves and access to passports expands. The Indian hotel market including domestic, inbound and outbound travel was valued at 32 billion US dollar in 2020 and is expected to grow by 52 billion US dollars by 27. Driven by rising traveler demand and continued efforts of travel agents to expand the market. By 2028, international tourist arrivals are expected to reach 30.5 billion and generate revenue over 59 billion US dollar. However, domestic tourists are expected to drive the growth post pandemic. International hotel chains are increasing their presence in the country and it will account for around 47% share in the tourism and hospitality sector of the India by 2020 and 50% by 2022. Period January March 2020 were 7,84,750 as compared to 3,6641 in March 21, registering a positive growth of 155.9%. The percentage share of foreign tourist arrivals in India during March 2022 among the top 15 sources countries USA, followed by UK, Bangladesh, and Canada, Australia. Sri Lanka, Nepal, Germany, Singapore, France, Maldives, Portugal, Russian Federation, Oman and Italy. During the last decade, we have seen a huge number of investors shifting to India. Let's take a look at the few facts and figures in relation to the investment and developments made in this sector. FDI inflows in tourism and hospitality sector reached 16.38 billion US dollars between April 2000 to March 2022. Hospitality unicorn Oyo has acquired Europe-based vacation rental company Direct Booker for 5.5 million US dollars in May 2022. Ecor, a French hospitality major, will expand its India's portfolio by adding nine additional hotels in the mid-scale and economic categories, bringing the total number of hotels 54 in India. The medical tourism sector is expected to increase at a CAGR of 21.1% from 2020 to 2027. India was globally the third largest in terms of investment in travel and tourism with an inflow of 45.7 billion US dollars in 2008 accounting for 5.9% of total investment in the country. Indian government has estimated that India would emerge with a market size of 1.2 million cruise visitors by 2030 to 31. Dream Hotel Group plans to invest 300 million US dollars in the next three to five years for the development of the cruise sector in India. India is the most digitally advanced traveler nation in terms of digital tools being used for planning, booking and experiencing a journey. India's rising middle class and increasing disposable income has supported the growth of domestic and outbound tourism. No industry can survive without government support. Back in 2005, a government launched Atiti Devo Bhava campaign to tell world about the hospitality of India. The Indian government has recognized the country's tourism potential and has taken several steps to make India a global tourism hub. Some of the major initiatives planned by the government of India is to boost India's tourism and hospitality sectors are in union budget 2022-23, 309.13 million US dollar has been allocated to the Ministry of Tourism 
which is 18.42 percent higher than the allocation of financial year 2021 to 22. 152.16 million US dollars are allocated for Swadesh Darshan scheme, 30.27 million US dollars for the pilgrimage, rejuvenation, and spiritual and, and heritage augmentation drive Prashad scheme. The Ministry of Tourism has launched the National Strategy for Sustainable Tourism and Responsible Traveller campaign in June 2022. From November 15, 2021, India allowed fully vaccinated foreign tourists to visit India which in turn will help revive the Indian travel and hospitality sector. In November 2021, the, the Ministry of Tourism signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU, with the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation to strengthen hospitality and tourism industries. The Ministry has also signed an MOU with Ease My Trip, Clear Trip, Yatra.com, Make My Trip and Go Ivivo. In November 2021, the Indian government planned a conference to boost film tourism in the country with an aim to establish domestic spots as preferred filming destination. This move is expected to create jobs and boost tourism in the country. In September 2021, the government launched Nidhi 2.0, National Integrated Database of Hospitality Industry Scheme. This scheme will maintain a database of hospitality sector components such as accommodation units, travel agents, tour operators and others. Nidhi 2.0 will facilitate the digitization of the tourism sector by encouraging all hotels to register themselves on the platform. Government is planning to boost the tourism in India by leveraging on the lighthouses in the country. 71 lighthouses has been identified for development as tourist spots. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has introduced a new scheme called All India Tourist Vehicle Authorization and Permit Rules 2021 in which a tourist vehicle operator can register online for all tourist authorization permit. This permit will be issued within 30 days of submitting the application. The Indian Railways Catering and Tourism Corporation runs a series of Bharat Darshan tourist trains aimed to taking people to various pilgrimages across the country. Staycation is an emerging trend in which people stay at luxurious hotels to relax and unwind in tranquil setting. To meet such demands, major hotel chains such as Marriott International, IHG Hotels and Resorts and Oberoi Hotels are launching staycation packages in which guests can select from a variety of curated experience within the hotel. India's travel and tourism industry has huge growth potential. The industry is also looking forward to the expansion of e-visa scheme which is expected to double the tourist inflow in India. India's travel and tourism industry has the potential to expand 2.5% on the back of higher budgetary allocation and low-cost healthcare facility, according to a joint study conducted by Asocham and Yes Bank. So, this was all about the topic and for more such content, keep watching our channel, Cobbiz. This is Yash Saxena signing off. Thank you.